In previous session, we discussed about the, what is a class, what is an object, what a class can contain, how can we access the class members, right? So, and static members of a class and non-static members of a class. This is what we seen in the last session. In today's session, we are going to talk about two important keywords. One is this keyword, one is self keyword. Remember, in our coordinator, this keyword is the mostly used one. Remember, this is one of the very important and mostly used keyword. Without this keyword, there is no coordinator three. But in coordinator three, a little bit we can use this keyword. But in coordinator three, we will mostly use the concept called this keyword for every loading library, loading helper. If you want to do any kind of task, there should be this keyword. What is this here? First, let us talk about the this. Uh, very interesting fact about this variable. So this is a variable which is you can use inside the class only. So what is the scope of it? We can see the scope. This is going to be inside of the class only. We cannot access outside guys. There is no concept of this keyword outside. So of a class. So if you want to use this keyword, that should be inside the class only, right? Inside the class only. As well as the same guys, self keyword scope is also inside the class only. We cannot access the self keyword outside of it. So the, what is the scope of this uh, self keyword that is also inside a class and this keyword scope is also inside a class. What about the variable? This uh, is a variable, which is we can also call guys. Remember, this is also called as current class object. Remember carefully what is current class object. I mean, what it will refers this will always refers current class object guys. What I can say, this will always refer current class object. What is the meaning of current class object? You should know current class. See, uh, earlier to access the class members, we created object, right? The object refers to the current class. What is the current class, test class or sample class, whatever it may be. In the same manner, this will always refers that this keyword will always refers the current class object remember carefully this keyword is used within the class only but yesterday do you remember we created a class and for this we created an object did you see this object is outside of your class outside of your class but this keyword you can use inside the class only you cannot access outside of your class let us see some examples so that you will get more clarity what exactly this keyword and the self keyword okay right let me create a new file and this is going to be a class. Let us create a class, something called sample.php or anything, whatever it may be. The file name could be anything, sample.php. It was in CA3. Let me create a class test. I'm creating a class test. Roomba, can I create an empty class? Definitely, you can create an empty class as well without having any problem. But one thing, remember, guys, all of you, I have created an empty class. Okay, that's well and good. Here, can I create object for this? Just definitely, we can create an object for the empty class also. New test. Yes, we created an object. Remember, can I create the object, this object inside your class? Is it okay? No, you cannot self class now. How can we create the same class object inside the same class? It is not possible, right? So then that's why we are creating outside of the class. This is called object. By using this object, we can access the class numbers now. If you want, you can print this print underscore r of dollar obj. We, we don't have any problem. We can create a class, empty class. We don't have any numbers inside of it. And we can create empty class and we can create object for this also. Let me execute this file so that it will be easy for us. Can you see what is the output here I'm getting? Test object, it's an empty. Actually, we don't have anything inside of it now. If you have at least one member, for example, define one variable guys here, a blank x equal to 200 i'm just defining a variable here right you can see now the class content one member x equal to 100 so i mean what i want to say here by seeing this program we can create a class without having any properties and any methods also that is also a class a class may be empty a class may contain properties a class may contain methods a class may contain both properties and methods okay then so let us take one more variable public dollar y equal to and this is going to be uh, 200 or 300. Yeah, this is the three members. Now, if we can refresh, X contain two members are there. Now, if we can take method public function, I'm taking a method, add method, I'm taking, okay. 
can i get add method inside this object no you cannot get it here see i'm refreshing you can get the properties of an object you are not getting a methods so it actually by default it doesn't show you this methods actually even if we can write something that won't work for you this is add method i'm writing simply this is add method i written right you can go and check this guys now refresh it are you getting anything add method here no you are not getting add method no worries that's not a problem you get the properties by using this obj we can call the methods now obj of add method we can call the add method like this now you can see this is add method the function is gets called automatically guys where is this keyword here am i used anywhere this keyword what i told you in the point that this keyword will always refers the current class object and this keyword scope is which we have to use inside of the class only we cannot access outside what is this here this is simply an object this is an object that always points to current class what is the current class sample sample is the class right now so can i use this keyword here yes definitely so for example see i want to sum those two numbers guys public variables na dollar sum equal to dollar x plus dollar y this is i am summing them okay now here i am going to print the sum echo dollar sum you can do something here i just want to write the sum is i am writing the sum is i am writing such a thing okay now what i am doing here here i am just calling a method okay this is a method and it is i am in this method what i am doing i am calling the variables these are the global variables what is the scope of a global variable inside a class wherever we want we can access them that is the meaning of global variable can you see now if i refresh you are going to get an error what is the error can you see line number 10 sample.php undefined variable x undefined variable y the sum is zero see tell me one thing please these two are the global variables what is the meaning of a global variable inside a class if a variable is declared as global that can be accessed everywhere within the class inside the method outside the method also we can access them but why we are unable to access the variable x and y on line number 10 especially line number 10 it is giving you error undefined variable x and y am i defined variables or not i define the variables x and y here but i am not getting the output there it is simply giving an error undefined variable x undefined variable y what is the reason remember carefully inside a class we can use this keyword but can i access this this variable may be a global but i was unable to access here but if you want to access global variables inside of a method we have to use this keyword as can you see i am going to use this of something like this of it i to see this of x and i am going to use this of y this is the way of accessing i told you what is the meaning of this this is the current class object how can we access the object values this is called object value right this is called exactly the object value we can call like this guys right so what exactly the story is here remember carefully so dollar this of x plus dollar this of y okay right so now you can go and you can call this now this means current class current class x plus current class y right now refresh the page now earlier we didn't get any output now i'm refreshing can you see you are getting the output now remember carefully in a class we may have different different members how many members are there right now have three members for example i am going to create one more guys public function f u n c function i am going to something called display this is a function i have something called display function so here what i want to do exactly let us make something called display here so let us write some echo statement here by doing this echo statement uh, display i am just writing display function guys i am not doing anything right can you see now here how can i call the display function right so by using the object obj of what is the function name display is the function name i just call it now you are going to get the display function also and refresh the page now and you are going to get the display function also getting okay. i mean if you have 10 methods we have to call the 10 methods like this only obj of method 1 method 2 method 3 method 4 something like this guys i want to ask you one thing so if you want to access a member X and Y are the class members, no? These members inside another member. What is another member? Add is a member. X and Y are the members. I want to access these two members inside a class, inside a another member. Sorry, inside another member. So how can I access this of X plus this of Y? See, I don't want to call add method guys here. I call only display method. If you can call display method, what is your output? You are going to get only display is our output. Perfect, no? Display we are getting the output. Now I am asking you one thing. Just this carefully. 
if i call the display method i want to see the output of this method i mean when you are calling the display method it is looking for display method we are writing something that code is executing here what i am asking you if i call display method here it should execute this method so i mean what you need to do how can i call this method inside this method so simply think guys this of the method name so this is how we can access one member into another member i shown you here how can we access the variables inside a method yeah this is the way of accessing if you want to access one method into another method sometimes there may be a requirement there may be a situation maybe there you want to access one method logic into each and every method one method is there guys in that we have database connection the database connection i need to use each and every of your class methods then what we need to do this is the way of doing as for example this add method we are calling into display method now can you see if i call the display method what display method will do internally it will call the add method so your output is going to be the sum of the sum is 5 like this we can call the methods guys this is how we can reuse the methods remember carefully this keyword by using this keyword we can access the class members right um, class member c add is a member display is a member x and y are the members so these two members we are able to access inside add member in this add member we are able to access inside of it this is the method way of accessing this is the variable way of accessing this keyword is inside the class only can i use this keyword outside of the class here or well, this of x can i write this this of x here definitely it is going to be error refresh the page it is going to give you an error this when not in object context using using this when not in object context what they are saying that this keyword always should be inside a class only say so remember this keyword is not only in our php you can go to java dot net python wherever you go in everywhere there is a concept called this keyword but in our php we can use dollar this maybe in java and dot net maybe they may they may use different keywords there the whole concept is same why we are using this keyword java dot net people also using the same purpose that this keyword is this keyword is always inside the class only okay then guys and one more point i have to tell you by using this keyword by using dollar this keyword this is a highlight this point we can only access we can only access non static members of a class only non static members of a class only this is very important remember carefully right so what is we can do by using this keyword we can access non static members of a class only then can you guess what is the self keyword then right by using self keyword remember carefully by using self keyword we can only access static members of a class right remember carefully both are inside a class only right we cannot access outside so this keyword is for non static members and self keyword is for static uh, sorry self keyword is for static members okay let me give you one more example so that this is all about static now okay let me go and let me create the same with another example i am going to create a new file this is going to be sampler self.php my file name is itself is self.php you can take any file name here no problem right my class is test again here but here i want to take this as a public static x public static y this is also a static function guys sta bi is a static function okay everything is static if it is a static can i use this here this of x we cannot use this of x guys remember carefully if a variable is a static we have to use self keyword remember vice versa is not possible static variable cannot be accessible by this keyword and non static variable cannot be accessible by self keyword remember here that is very very important right what i want to say if a class contain right static keywords right non static keywords whatever it may be we cannot access them guys simply what i want to say here self keyword is only i'm writing a point only for static members okay na this keyword is only for uh, this is only for uh, what is this only for guys non static members guys remember that okay. vice versa is not possible using this can we access static members not possible using self can i access non static members not possible guys remember this is very very important you guys should remember right here in the same manner i am coming here in the self.php if i run the file self.php definitely you are going to get an error let me run the file here i am going to run the file self.php here definitely we can see an error self.php there is an error 
using this when not in object context. Same error again we are getting, but in place of this, what we have to use, you have to use a concept called self keyword with the scope resolution operator self, scope resolution operator of DLRX. And here also we have to use self keyword, self keyword, scope resolution operator of DLRX. This is what you guys need to do guys. Other than this, you cannot access. Here also we are calling display function. Huh? Now you can see you, you may have another, so you are getting output, right? Method may be anything. Remember carefully, whatever the method it may be, I told you yesterday one point for you, whether may be static or non-static, we can use either object or, or self cure, whatever it may be. Guys, here actually I have to call self of add. But you are able to call this this of add also, no? Yes, no worries. For methods, it is not Paul. It is okay, no problem. For variables only, it will take strict uh, things, guys, strict rules and regulations. For variables point of view, it will obey strict rules. For methods of methods point of view, it is not, guys. That's why PHP is a partial object oriented. But if it is a Java, static members, only class name and the self keyword. But if it uh, non-static members, this keyword and object only. So we cannot, uh, vice versa is not possible. But whereas here, this rule is applicable for variables strictly, but not methods guys. Did you see actually, if it is a strict programming language, you cannot call the method like this, right? Because if you're static method now, Static method will always be called like this. Let me make this also a static function. STATS is static function. Refresh the page. So now you are getting the error. Do you see using this when not in object context? See, in static context, will you be able to access? Because earlier this method is not static, guys. This method is not static. Now you are able to access both ways. Now you are able to get the output. Now I make my method as static. So this way is not possible. You cannot do if the method is static, remember carefully. Right? This situations you have to remember. There's nothing. What I want to say, when you guys are practicing, do with a different, different scenarios so that you will get more clarity. See why we are getting output earlier. This method is non-static method. Inside the non-static method, we can use this keyword. No? That's why we got the output. But now the method is static. Inside the static method, we are unable to access the another member. What is this member? This member is static member. Inside this static function, we are unable to access the uh, I mean, we are unable to access that method in a non-static way by using this keyword, right? So this keyword is not possible to access this guys. Remember carefully, only one thing guys, the two points are very, very important. You know, you don't need to worry about the self keyword and we are not going to use this mostly in our recording letter framework. So mostly we will use this keyword guys. For everything, there is a this, this, this in our coding letter three, right? So mostly we can use uh, this keyword in our coding letter three framework. For everything, for loading libraries, for loading databases, for calling methods, for validation, whatever it may be, we are going to use this keyword, this of library, this of load of library, this of load of helper, like this. For everything, we are going to use the this keyword. So try to understand what is the meaning of this current class. Understand what is the meaning of the current class, guys. So this again, we will explain you one more time in the inheritance concept so that it will be helpful a lot. Okay, try to understand what is this keyword and why we are using the this keyword, guys. This is going to give you a clear idea. Exactly. Understand? Right. So all about the this keyword and self keyword, guys. Right. If you want to access one member of your class into another member, that is very important. We have to use either this keyword or self keyword. The only thing, remember the points one more time here. I'm giving you the point, this keyword. Right. Only for non-static, only static. Understand? self -taught. Let me share you these points with you. I'm sharing you the points with you guys here in the chat window. Yes. The points for understanding. Better understanding. And keep, the, keep these points somewhere, guys, so that it will be helpful for you. Okay? Right, guys. So this is all about uh, the things. This keyword as well as self keyword. Understand? Perfect, guys. So, guys, let me know if you have any doubts in this. Right? First of all, self keyword and this keyword. 